a couple of years ago, you were very vocal on where the physiques were going in the open, um, in particular the, the bellies. Uh, you referenced some of these guys who are looking like bottles, um, that they were just misshapen, kind of, you know, not, not really the ideals of what bodybuilding should be all about. Um, do you feel like the changes that you implemented into your shows uh, has helped in that respect over the last two years now? Well, there's two things. One of them is, is that I think as we get into certain kind of supplements and certain kind of things that people are taking that maybe creates this kind of a more bloated look or extending the belly where you don't have that much control over the belly, uh, I think that you know, for every attack there's a defense. So if you see that happening, then you have to do something about it. And I think that you have to just spend hours and hours to practice the vacuum so you keep the stomach in. Because if people do not come to a show to see bellies. And if they want to do that, they go to the maternity ward or something like that, and they can uh, <laughs> see plenty of stomachs there. But I mean, it's when you come to a bodybuilding show, you got to see guys that, that are able to do a vacuum and that keep that stomach in. You got to train if it is hours and hours every day, it makes no difference, but you got to train to keep your waist small. And so this is really was the issue. And I thought that by taking the category of posing out of the judging procedure was a big mistake because the posing is the most important thing. I mean, you, you can have the greatest body in the world, but if you don't have, if you're not able to really display your body, if you're not able to hold your pose for 20 seconds at the time, if you're not able to go and turn without tripping over and all of those kind of things, and if you're not able to suck your waist in when you turn and keep it in with a smile, then you know you haven't trained enough in that whole thing. So this was my argument. My argument was always, I don't mind the monster guys because People move on. I mean, we are, people get in better shape all the time. Uh, the day they're in better shape than when I was a champion, and uh, you know, in 20 years from now, people will be in better shape than they're today. So that's all perfectly fine. But let's just say, let's keep the great classical physique. Let's keep the small waist and the wide shoulder and the kind of athletic look, even though bigger. And so that, I, I feel like we, the Arnold Classic, have included now uh, the posing again. Because of that, you will see that guys have made much more effort. Over the last five years, I've seen great changes already. Very rarely did I see anyone yesterday's stomach get out of control. Very rarely, and I look at that very, in a very sensitive way. And uh, so I think that I want to congratulate the champions for having made a real effort to pay much, much more attention to posing and to their presentation. And I think in the end, it is really beneficial for the audience to watch that. And uh, you can see the reaction when someone poses well on stage, you see the reaction of the audience, you know, you get up, there's more excitement there and all that stuff. So uh, it, it's great that all of you have really paid attention to that and really started really thinking about, you know, keeping the waist as small as possible.